we're about to have our kitchen faucet replaced tomorrow because this Delta Leland is not a good product. Let me show you why. When I researched something, I researched it thoroughly. We needed a new faucet. Ours was leaking out of the bottom of the cabinet. We needed it right away. Then came the Leland. Beautiful to behold. A long, gigantic goose neck with fancy schmancy things. Three buttons, depending on the spray that you want. Look, I'll even show you. Regular spray and this extra super duper fancy one. You hold the button and it's the shield spray technology. And all that's great, but when you go to turn it off, sometimes it works, but sometimes people leave it and it drips, except for when I'm making a video. Yeah, that's what happens. Somebody just goes to shut it off and occasionally it'll have a drip anyway. Point being is this, I'm having trouble duplicating these results right now during this video because that's how things work, but this has to be in just the right place to turn off. You kind of have to roll it up in there in order to make it turn off. And even if you've practiced this a number of times, it still is a challenge. And if it's a challenge for you as the homeowner, imagine the challenge that it will be for your guests and relatives that visit, who are also guests. Anyway, it's not something you want to deal with. One thing I do want to say is that I made the astute choice of placing the handle in the center, okay? If you get one of these faucets that's supposed to turn on and off, from this side, notice I'm using my left hand because my right hand is holding the camera. Look here, it's awkward if you're left-handed or if by chance you don't have a right arm. Why do they decide to make it like this? I have no clue. But the other thing is, if you're going to turn this on and off, imagine this, okay, this is turned and the faucet handle is here. Every time you turn the thing on in a different range, you just you wash the dishes and then drip, 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 drip. Not cool. So anyway, it may seem a little bit funny to you, but turn this on. You could be left-handed. You could be right-handed. You can have one of your hands chopped off. It's right there. And you're washing the dishes, you're turning it off and on, look where the water goes. Boom! Into the sink. Every time, into the sink. So that is the win for this faucet. As far as purchasing it, don't do it. Okay? It looks good. It's like one of the top rated faucets. This stuff is cool. Will you ever really use the shield spray technology? Uh, maybe, just because it looks cool. I'll show you one more time. I mean, that's pretty fantastic to look. To look at and everything, but you know what? It's not worth all that. Anyhow, yeah, over time, this just gets harder and harder to shut off, except for if you're making a video about it, in which case it works perfectly. But when you come in the morning and you see this, because somebody walked away thinking it was off, you will understand what I'm talking about, and it will be frustrating to you. But hopefully, 
you're watching this video prior to purchasing the Leland and you will just say no. Tomorrow we're getting a new faucet installed and I'll be able to give a little bit of a review on that. In the meantime, like I said, please don't buy this. Save yourself some trouble because I'm not the only one. There were reviews about this. People said the same thing. You have to get just this tiny little place. Even when I called Delta, they said, yeah, you have to find that sweet spot. The sweet spot is like right there. And sometimes you get, you try to push it hard, you try to push it soft, you try to do like this. But at the end of the day, this is what you're gonna be left with. And you're gonna be chasing after every single guest trying not to make them feel bad, trying not for them to notice that you're coming to shut the faucet off after them because they just couldn't get it in the right place and you just can't blame them. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Don't buy this. If you keep watching my videos, I'll show you what you should get. And I'm really hoping that I'm right about this because, yes, I don't want to go through this again. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. You never know what you're going to learn next. Bye.